Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.26 from the chapter number 3. Okay, the problem is with the use of maps, find the simplest sum of product form of the function f equal to f into z where f and g are these two functions that means we are given two functions and we have to find out the simplest sum of product form of this multiplication of these two functions using k maps so first function is already given in sum of mean terms form okay or sum of product form the function small c is given in product of sum expression so for uh, using this expression in four variable map first of all we have to convert this function into a sum of product form so this z if we find z bar then what we have to write a plus b plus c bar plus d bar all into b bar plus c bar plus d all into a bar plus c plus d bar okay whole complement because we have taken complement of z bar so this is a b c whole bar so using de morgan's theorem what we can write we can write it as a bar plus b bar plus c bar okay so suppose this is a this is b and this is c okay so we can write it as a plus b plus c bar plus d bar whole bar plus b bar plus c bar plus d whole bar plus a bar or a complement plus c plus d complement whole complement then next what we will do this is nothing but a plus b plus c plus d whole bar again we can use the morgan's theorem so we'll get a bar a bar b bar c d plus from this time we'll get b c d bar plus a c bar d uh, we have already seen that in the case of k map whenever we find a sum of product expression in z bar okay that means complement of the given function then we can put zero values for these expressions okay so let us first of all find out the four variable map of this given function for f what we'll do a b c d okay we have 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay so this is nothing but a these two color this two row are b this third and the fourth column are c and this second and the third column is small d here we'll put the value this values f equal to this much so first time we have a b c bar a b is this row and c bar means first and the second column so we'll put here one values because this is given in f function it is not the f complement so we directly put one values second term is c bar d c bar d is this column okay c bar d is this column so we have to put here one values okay then we have a bar c a bar c d bar c d bar okay c d bar is this fourth column and we have a bar so one and one here then we have b bar c d bar so c d bar is this fourth column and b bar is first and the fourth so first is already occupied so we'll put here one okay so this is the four variable map for the given function f and for small g we will make the four variable map here now we can see that we have the function z bar z bar whenever we find a function from the k map using zero values then we got the complement of the function or inversely we can understand it that if we uh, put the sum of mean terms expression for the complement of a function then we have to put zero values for this given function okay so a bar b bar c d a bar b bar is this first row and c d is this third column okay first row third column so we'll put here zero then we have b c d bar c d bar c d bar means this fourth column and b b means the second and the third 
okay so we'll put here zero values why we are putting zero values because it is z complement okay so we have put here zero values then we have a c bar d a c bar d means a is this two row and c bar d is the second column okay so we'll put here zero and zero okay so all the other values will be one for finding out the sum of uh, sum of product expression of the function f equal to f into z so what we have to do we have to find out the common one values first and from that how we can combine from this two table that means whenever a function is multiplied with a zero it will be zero okay so if the output need to be one the two both the two functions should have one values for that value okay so from here how you can combine it we can see that this one is this one there is also from this two table we can see that this one and this one is also there in this z values z table okay so we can combine like this this will be one combination that means we have to see the terms that are common okay then we have this one value and this one value okay this one value and this one value so okay so we can combine like this we have to take the combination from both the table okay similar combination we have to take then the third term will be this one this one is also there and this one is also there okay so now let us see if there is anything left here we can see that this one is not there one zero okay they will cancel out so this one and the here we have zero values okay this other remaining are zero okay so this one and zero it will cancel out okay this zero zero it is one one it will cancel out okay it is one zero one and one zero so they will also cancel out okay we have one one zero zero so they will cancel out so now directly we can write this capital f as these values this sum of mean term expression from this two tables the common mean term expression okay so from this term we will get it is a b c bar d bar a b c bar d bar okay plus from this term what we will get it is a bar b a bar c bar d a bar c bar d plus from this term what we will get we will get b bar okay and c d bar b bar c d bar okay so this is the simplified sum of mean term expression so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you